Allison very serious. In fact, a key board member for the America's Cup Committee tells me why not Rhode Island? We're the ocean state and... As you know, we have the popular America's Cup Ave, but the bottom line, he says he is most impressed with Rhode Island's aggressiveness. On a snowy winter night, Ron Smith can't help but stare at this headline and remember the summer of 1983. I worked in one hotel and did like six jobs just because there wasn't enough, you know. But to watch the races and to see the boats and the people, it was, it was awesome. He's talking about the last time Newport hosted America's Cup. For over 50 years, 1930 to 1983, all the action was here. Tom Eamon, a board member for America's Cup Committee, told Rhode Island's Economic Development Corporation he feels the city can make it happen again. Fort Adams, with the improvement plan to this state asset already in progress, I think the state and uh, all the others involved will figure out how to make Fort Adams a world-class facility. In order to be host in 2013, all the work at Fort Adams would have to be done by July 2012. Now they're coming here a year in advance. That would mean big business for Rhode Island. San Francisco, another contender, estimated almost 9,000 jobs if their city is chosen. We've had some struggles now with San Francisco, and in the meantime, Rhode Island has continued to develop the plan. Now the Rhode Island EDC is in serious talks with engineering firms and consulting firms to talk design and numbers. In the meantime, they cannot wait for the official announcement on December 31st. They're hoping that it is that Rhode Island here in Newport is the host for America's Cup in 2013. For now, we're live in Newport. Aaron Logan, ABC6 News. All right, Aaron.